This is another Ryan Reacts. This time we are doing Brain Games. What color is the dress? I don't know if you guys remember this. Actually, of course you remember this. This was like the most viral thing that year. Um, another Ryan Reacts. Brain Games. What color is the dress? Thank you for redeeming and wasting another 100,000 uh, useless points. Here we go color is the dress? Is it black and blue or white and gold? Or maybe a different color altogether? Scientists have tried to science it. Theorists have attempted to theorize it. But what is the true answer to this suddenly infamous question? Find out next on a non-new so episode bright. of Brain Gum. I like this song. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Brain Gamis. And today we're going to be solving the mystery of the ever so popular color changing dress. I but see black and blue, do guys. That, I don't know about you guys. That we warm up our brains you guys a see bit black first. and blue? I have my volunteer here named Ryan, and he's going to be participating in Brain Gamis. Just wearing. <laughs> Aha! That so, was the first so, test. So lazy. I'm not even. I didn't even change my outfit. Look, it's just putting this over that outfit. That's the same shirt and pant. Anyway. Did you realize, Ryan, that we actually already did the intro sequence and that was the second time we showed it? Uh, yeah. I mean, that just Mandela happened, effect. right? Before you introduced yourself. You see, just like Ryan here, your brain is not warm enough. Can to you hear the difference? Typical questions such as what color in my is the voice. Dress? So what we need to do first is warm up that brain with a little brain okay. gamis. I know this is. I'm I'm being annoying and stopping a lot, but like Aha! listen to the that two was voices. The first test. Did you realize, Ryan, that we actually already did the intro sequence and that was the second time we showed it? Uh, yeah. You hear that? Aha! That is the first test. And then, uh, yeah, it's because we filmed this guy first, and I had to do so much yelling, I lost my voice. Just a fun fact that you don't need to know about. I mean, that just happened, right? Before you introduced yourself. You see, just like Ryan here, your brain is not warm enough to be ready for such a difficult question, such as, what color is the dress? So what we need to do first is warm up that brain with a little brain gamis. You see, if you thought the title sequence was going to start again, then you You're were completely, completely wrong. On to our first game. It's called the math cycle. So this is for all of you at home. Just follow along. I'm gonna hold up a number of fingers behind my back. But the amount of people I that still don't that get is, this I want joke. All of you at home to pick a number in your head. Got it? Good. Now add five to your original number. Whatever number you're at now, subtract one. And now add two. Now subtract your original number that you started off with. Because the number you're at right now is the exact number of fingers I have up behind my back. That's right. Six. Welcome to Brain Gamis. Our next game is Sorry. called The Trainsaw Massacre. And I'm gonna be using my volunteer Ryan, but I want all of you at home to follow along. So Ryan, if two trains are on the same track, headed towards one another, train A is going 50 miles per hour, while train B is going 50 kilometers an hour. Assuming there's no wind and both trains left the station at the same time, what is most likely to be yelled out by the passengers on train A? Is it A, all of the above, B, help, C, no, or D, look what? up. I mean, I, how am I supposed to, I guess, C? So close. The answers B, C, and D actually would have been correct if we were talking about train B because it's probably filled with foreigners being that they measure in kilometers. However, the question was about train A measured in miles per hour, which means most of the passengers were Americans. And those are not what Americans would say in that scenario. I mean, even with that, all that's left is Merkel. the letter A, all of the above, and there's nothing else above it, so... Wrong again. The answer is actually A, all of the above. You have to think outside of the box. What box? You see, the correct answers were E, who cares? F, this is so dumb. G, this needs to stop, because if it doesn't... Or A, two trains! I couldn't even see those, though, so that's not really fair, right? You have to see the full picture, Ryan. I mean, after all, this is... Brain Gomez. Cut his ass. And finally, my we ass. have our last game. It's called What Do You See on the Screen? Probably one of our simpler games. All you have to do is tell me what do you see on the screen? What do you Ryan? see, guys? Um, the letter A? Wrong. The correct answer is the color red. Oh, I thought you were talking Next about Next question. What do you see on the correct. screen now? Do you see the color blue? Yes. Wrong again. The correct answer is the letter A. But you're the one that asked me. Next obviously. question. What do you see on the screen now? Well, I see the letter A and it's colored gray. Gray spelled with an A or with an E? Does it matter? Not really. Okay, I guess with an A then. Wrong. The answer we were looking for. Well, gray with an E then. Still wrong. What? The correct answer we were looking for was 
was the letter A colored a light black. I don't think that's even a color. However, if we were to darken this gray colored A to the color black, what do you see on the screen now? Okay, you said that that was the color black. Correct. And nothing physically changed in the image from the last one, right? Indeed. Okay, then the answer has to be Indeed. the letter A colored black. Ryan? That is absolutely wrong. What? The correct answer was a 90 degree rotated unfinished drawing of Pac-Man eating a Tic Tac. Mm. Next and final question. Thank God. What letter do you see on the screen now? What letter? Correct. And nothing to do with the color, right? <laughs> Indeed. And it's not some stupid answer course, like an course. unfinished drawing of Pac-Man. It's an actual letter in the English alphabet. That is correct. Okay, I can do this. Then it has to be the letter A. Wrong. What the f The correct answer was an extremely zoomed in picture of the letter B. Okay, but Obviously. the letter B is made up of a bunch of A's, so technically my answer wasn't wrong this time, right? Wrong again. The B is not made from a bunch of A's. What? Then what is it made of then? Unfinished Pac-Man drawing. You son of a- And finally, now oh. that your brain is warmed up and ready, we'll ask the question once again. What color is the dress? Well, now Black that your blue. brain is prepared, you can finally see the full picture, and I'll answer your question with another question. Is the dress even a dress? People assume that it was a dress, when really, if you do what I've been telling you to do throughout this entire episode and see the full picture, you'll see that this infamous dress is actually a shirt. It's a shirt. Now it all makes sense why you had me doing all those stupid exercises. This whole time, everybody was arguing about the color of the dress. See, so you guys, when you look the at the full, full picture, picture, the true answer to the question is, it's a shirt. Wrong. What? The correct answer is actually A. Seriously? You made me and the audience go through all of this and you're not even gonna give us a serious answer? I did answer it. The answer is A. That makes no sense. What does the letter A have anything to do with the color of the dress? Well, not the letter A. The answer is A. You have to see the full picture, remember? You have to think outside of the box. The answer is Classic actually flashbacks. A. All of the above? Yep, and the next time somebody asks you the question, what color is the dress, all you have to do is say A. All of the above. Who cares? This is so stupid. This needs to stop because if it doesn't... If it doesn't, then what? Two trains? See, now you're on the right track. Two trains! <laughs>